When you launch PowerPoint, you will see something similar to this. And I can see that Copilot is not switched on because here it says blank presentation. And in this position, it usually has an entry which says create with Copilot. Now I'll click where it says blank presentation and you are then presented with this. And a quick look here will show us that Copilot is greyed out, meaning it is not available. So I wish now to switch it on. To switch on Copilot, you come to File, you click onto that, and then you come down here to where it says Options. You click onto Options, and this dialog box will appear. Zooming into the dialog box, you will note here it says Copilot. So you will click onto there, and then this will appear. And you will note here it says Enable Copilot requires restarting the app. So you come to this box, you click on it, and the tick will appear. And then you click on to OK. If we now consider this, you can see here that Copilot is still greyed out, even though I have just enabled it. Now, the enabling will not happen until you restart PowerPoint. So you come here and you click on this to shut PowerPoint down, and then you relaunch PowerPoint. Now, I'll perform that task off video and show you the result when you relaunch PowerPoint. When you relaunch PowerPoint after you've enabled Copilot, the first thing you should note is this here. It says Create with Copilot. Now, I'm not going to click onto that. I'm going to click onto where it says Blank Presentation, and you will see this. And straight away, you can look here, and you can see that Copilot is indeed enabled. And if you look to this, you can see this is also telling you Copilot is enabled because it is no longer greyed out. It is in the full colour of the icon. So you can clearly see that Copilot is now enabled for us to use.